Hi everyone, this is Pam from Bug Bytes, and in this video I'll be showing you how to transfer or view the files from your Gypsy and the DS. First, after you finish updating the file, when you go to the Help menu and click on it, go to About, you can see the current version of your Gypsy Sync and this is going to be the Gypsy firmware version is going to be the build on your Gypsy and in the Cricut Design Studio if you go to help the same way when you go to about you can find the current version of your Cricut Design Studio provided you have gone and updated it this will be the version so you have to go and update the Cricut Design Studio to for your transferring file the Design Studio to Gip, and the Gypsy to work. I'll go to my Gypsy Sync and if I see in the file menu we'll find a plus sign here and the Gypsy folder. So if I click on that plus sign I'll get the designs and when I try to double click on that this shows me all the files in the Gypsy at present. When we begin, go to File and you can back up your Gypsy. It will bring up this pop-up window and you will want to say Yes. And it will bring up another pop-up window to tell me where to store my files. So I can go and choose I have made a folder in called Cricut where I keep all my files. So right now because I've already saved it, I'll press cancel. If you want to just save a single file, you can select one file and then press save selected file to PC. I'll just press that and I'll just save the file in a folder called Gypsy here. So now since I already have that file I'll press cancel and it says OK. Anytime I cannot see any of the files here I just have to go to the file menu and I can refresh Gypsy data. So any file which I've created after opening my Gypsy sync it'll bring that file to me again here. Now to just view a file you don't need to convert. You just go to the file menu in your Cricut Design Studio, click on open and wait for a while and it will bring me all the projects. I have to go where I have stored mine which is in this gypsy and design and then because it's a gypsy file not a cut file I just have to press gypsy files and it'll bring me all the files so let me choose accent essential frame which I have made and I can view it if I want to convert this to a cut file it's very simple I just go to file and then press save us and automatically it brings me the file name and it has given me a cut file so I just have to go and choose the folder which I want to keep it in I have chosen gypsy to ds file so let me double click that and then click on save Now, if I go to File and click Open the File, and then I go to the folder where I have saved the file, which is Gypsy to DS Files, and here in the File option, I have to choose Cricut Files. We can see that this file has been saved as a cut file. We can go ahead and now open that file 
and start playing with it in the DS. If I want to send a cut file into my Gypsy, I just go open the file, go where I have kept all the files. I have kept that in this project files. So let me go and choose this flower template. I'll open that. I'll go to file and I'll choose save as and this time I'll go up choose the folder where I want to save it which will be my DS to Gypsy files and then I will come to the save us type choose all files and in the file name you can change your file name here I'll leave it as it is I will type dot gypsy and then save it then I will open the gypsy sync and I will say upload files to the gypsy I have these files and I want to save the flower template file and it will transfer the file it will refresh the gypsy data too and if I go here I can see the flower template dot gypsy file so that's all there is to transfer files to and fro from design studio and gypsy don't forget to update your cricket see you again next time in another video thank you